to Trafalgar Square to watch a live performance of The Passion of Jesus, hosted by the Wintershaw Estate, we had on the show last week. It was an amazing day, it really was, to share in the commemoration of Good Friday with tens of thousands of other Christians in the middle of London. We love to see it. I didn't, however, spot Mayor Sadiq Khan. Nelson's column wasn't lit up with Christian symbols, and there were no Easter lights on Piccadilly Circus, and the fourth plinth was still of that murderous anti-white revolutionist. So the surroundings were far from perfect, but we should celebrate whatever wins we can these days. Seeing people able to publicly demonstrate their witness for Christ was significant, especially during the Paschal Trillium. On Monday Thursday, we saw Christ prepare us for his temporary departure as he washed the feet of his apostles and ate the Last Supper, instituting both sacraments of the priesthood and the Eucharist. On Good Friday, we saw his death on the cross for our sins. Today, of course, is Holy Saturday, or Easter even, when we wait for his return whilst he descends into hell to free the lost souls, opening the gates of heaven to them and to us if we repent and believe. Tomorrow is the holiest of holy days for Christians when we celebrate his resurrection for our salvation, the day he demonstrated to the world that he is not just truly God, but also truly man. So instead of a political monologue today, I'd like to invite you to join me in the Lord's Prayer.